let me circle back to Outlander so the audience doesn't crucify me for not asking you this. You show up, that cast, is that cast pretty easy to work with? Yeah. I, I, mean, I have a good time. They carry a lot of weight now. So they're pretty, they embrace you. You're the new guy on the set. You get along with people. It's okay. The read through window, well, you're not reading, but you're there probably for it. Well, no, that's interesting. And, and in fact, uh, I didn't even sit in on the read through for the rape sequence in the cell um, mm-hmm. because it was the first time they'd really got to work on it. As I say, it was very odd because I know Sam of old and he, he wasn't the big star when, when I knew him. Um, and so there, there was a kind of a, oh, you're a guy from my life before I was like this. Oh, okay. Everybody else was new to me. Tobias I'd never met before, but was utterly delightful. Who, who just, it, 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 meeting Tobias was just like, we'd all rocked up at a local repertory theater about to do a new season together. Mm-hmm. And we would talk to you on a level absolutely like that. Um, and, and really those are the guys I work with, you know. Uh, uh, even some of the, the clansmen, I didn't really get to see them very much. Uh, and it's, so it's compartmentalized like that. Um, it seemed to be a very good, very good spirit on set when I got there. We were rolling into the Scottish independence referendum at that time, shows you how long ago it was, which was quite interesting. Uh, so I think we all went out for a drink that night. But uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was kind of like doing a play within a play, doing that, that show because there were certain things that had to be protected, uh, which is the dignity of the actors involved in the sexual violence, and also the rats had to be protected. Because this thing which sadly was cut out the second episode was me lying dead in the corner, covered in rats, and the rats had to be protected more than any of us. Right, of course. Otherwise, the, you know, the rat handler's union gets pissed. Um, well, I, even, even, I, I wouldn't want to mix it with the rat handler. No, he would have taken me apart big time. Uh, I bet. Look, anyone who's who's got that as a profession is dangerous, undoubtedly. So you're doing a scene. I mean, look, these rape scenes are very difficult to work, to shoot, and do. And actually, the best story of anyone I've ever heard comes from Ron Perlman because when he was on Sons of Anarchy, they brought in one of his old Hellboy co-stars, Doug Jones, to do this scene that was kind of a manipulated, ugly moment of like a prison guard having his character do all these unsavory tasks and. They did take after take after take after take after take after take. And then finally, I guess after like the 20th take and they finally got it, Ron Perlman just looks at his old Hellboy co-star and goes, show business, huh? <laughs> like, yeah. like, you know, <laughs> like basically like, you know, like the whole, that just the nod of like, this is what we do. This is it. You know, this is, you know, it's not as glamorous as people think. This is what we do. And now and those things aren't glamorous. And, and also, you know, getting it, getting it right for the camera, looking out for each other, making sure that no one gets hurt, um, all of those things. It's, uh, I felt very supported and very cared for on Outlander, particularly as, as, you know, there is a kind of hierarchy, you know, how many lines have you got and this kind of thing. That's not how we did it. Um, everybody looked out for everybody. And we, you know, we had muskets and we had fire and we had, in fact, in the scene immediately after that, they had live cows on that set, you know. So they, yeah, yeah, there was actually a real stampede. Um, those guys are on it. Uh, we all looked after each other pretty good. But just occasionally you do look at each other and think, wow, so, so we're day three into sadistic rape and torture in our working yeah. life. How do we feel now? <laughs> I think, you know what, to go back, I think what Ron Perlman actually said is probably more in tune with what you're saying, where I think he said something along the lines of like, and what? leave show business or something like this is you know what the what you do as an actor to get something right versus what the audience sort of their perception of the working relationships and and mechanics are very different but so you're hanging around the set of outlander all right so you're at the craft service table having your coffee or your tea and the cast is mingling around give me a moment that kind of humanizes them like give me an outlander cast moment where you're like these people are all right i think the biggest thing <laughs> The biggest thing was these these massive hairy Scotsmen, all of whom now we know to look at. They're 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 you know Jamie's clansmen, and although I think they pretty much all were of genuine Scottish ancestry, if not family, but they've all been through the British theatre school system. Um, they've they've all got perfect RP accents, and there's this great huge muddy bloody behemoth just saying, "Oh, excuse me, old boy, could you could you pass me the salt?" 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. No, it's, it's all right. It's all right. I'm not going to out you. No, it, I get it. If mm. you're a Scottish actor, you have to you have to work English. Ask David Tennant. You know. Um, if you're an English actor, you try and work Scottish at your peril because or, or I have done it. Um, that's difficult. I, I think that was what was most uh, pertinent to me on that set was it was a big family and there were a lot of people who were being allowed to be Scottish, which is amazing. And every, I talked to Fraser Hines from Doctor Who Connections and Conventions. Obviously, Fraser was in the show. You know, which Scottish actor haven't they had in that show now? Right. Um, but goodness for it. And, it. and if Scotland doesn't get a, a, a permanent studio out of it, it will be a crying shame. Uh, that to me was it, it probably doesn't read quite so well from the states, but here, you know, Scotland is 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 a different place with with different traditions and different history, and those guys were almost like pioneers, going, no, damn it, we will have a movie studio and we will do one of the biggest shows in the world, and there they were. So that was yeah, that that was. I have to say, the, the craft service times there, you know, and the, and the lunch times were very cool. It was, it was, we were, we were an old ceramics factory outside Combinold. Um, looking at it thinking, wow, go Sony Pictures. Wow, go Scotland. 